In this brief video I want to show you how to upload files and folders from your local hard drive to the remote web server. So I'm going to begin here by making sure we have the correct folders in our website folder. So you should go to your documents um, folder or wherever on your computer you like to save your files and you should have created a website folder and in that folder you should also have created three other separate folders a docs folder images folder and a PDF folder now these are created to hold all the various resource files that we're going to collect for our website project and it is customary in web design to separate all the different types of files into separate folders and so that's what we've done here so make sure you've done that before proceeding through this lesson another thing you're uh, required to do prior to this um, exercise is to go ahead and collect a bunch of files. Go ahead and collect some Word documents, uh, some images, uh, and also some PDF files and store them or save them in the appropriate type of folder that you have in your website folder. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and close Windows Explorer. And you'll see here that I am logged into my FileZilla and my WinSCP. This video is going to cover uh, the procedure for transferring files for both of the FTP clients, WinSCP or FileZilla. So whichever you're choosing to use for this class, just follow the directions for that software. You don't have to have both installed on your computer. Okay, so we're in WinSCP and we see on the left is our local folder. It's been set up that way and I showed you how to do that in a previous video. And I'm looking at the website folder on the left on my local machine. And on the right is the web server, the remote machine. And we can see that the folder arrangement is not the same uh, because I haven't uh, copied the local files over to the remote folder yet. I'm going to do that now. So quite easily in WinSCP all you need to do is highlight all the folders by clicking and dragging around them or you could also hold down the control key and click each one separately um, and then what you want to do is come down here to the bottom and find the F5 copy key or copy button uh, don't use the move button because that will move everything over but thereby deleting it from your local drive you want to make sure you only copy uh, not move and so once we've done that we're going to go ahead and click F5 copy another window will open asking you to confirm what you want to do and this is correct you'll go ahead and click copy and then the process will go by here where it will copy as you can see everything uh, all the separate files from the folders on the left to the right I'm going to pause the video while we wait for that to be completed okay we're back now the process has completed and all three folders including all the files inside those folders have successfully been copied over to the remote server. So we have docs, images, and PDF and uh, if we were to go into those folders by double clicking them on the server we would see that now they do contain all those same files. One thing to note when you see the up arrow with the two dots that uh, the two dots mean go up one folder in the tree so by double clicking on that you'll go back to the root of your um, document tree on the server. Okay, now let's look at the same process over on FileZilla. Okay, when you open up FileZilla, which is the alternate FTP client you can use in this class, uh, especially if you're on a Mac, you'll want to use FileZilla. We're back. I've taken the liberty of deleting the files I had already copied over. So now when you first open up FileZilla, uh, and you're ready to copy over all your docs, images, and PDF files. You're going to go ahead again um, and just select each of these folders. You can hold down uh, the control key and select each of them or simply click and drag around all of them to select everything in that directory on your local drive. And um, then we're just going to go ahead and in this one uh, it's actually easiest to uh, take the highlighted files and folders and just go ahead and drag them over okay, and that will do a copy and you can see up at the, at the top it's telling you everything it's copying we're going to pause the video while it uh, goes ahead and copies those over okay the file copy procedure is done and now we see that over on the right on the server we have the same folders and files 
that we have on the left. So uh, we have docs, images, and PDF folders here. If I were to go into any one of these, double click on them here on the remote side, I'll now see not only has it copied the folders, but it's copied all the files as well. Again, the double dot here means go up one level in the document tree, and so it brings me back to the root of the remote server. So that's how you copy over all your resource files that we'll be using in your website project. I'd like you to collect both documents, images, and PDF files, placing them in the proper folders, and copy them to your remote web server.